Hi, I'm Landon, and welcome to my Christmas Wonderland. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So this year for Christmas, I wanted to do like a snow outdoorsy hill kind of look. So I put that Dit Santa up on an ice chest and covered it with a white sheet and white snow. Cause I knew I wanted to put lights under it and I didn't want to, to be able to see what I was using through the white snow. So I just covered it with a sheet for more of an illusion and I just wanted it to have more of a glow and you not to see the lights as much under it. And I'm fluffing the trees because I always think a fluff tree looks so much better than it being all smushed down. And I'm just sort of messing around with that. It took me days to figure that out. And I'm measuring my Mackenzie Child's garland because I made a crystal garland or curtain that I want to hang above my bay window and when I made it I made it back in August and I hung it up in our attic on the rafters and when I went up to get it all my crystals were on the ground because the hot glue had melted so now we have to hot glue all the crystals back on it is such a pain because they all have to be measured because they tear down as they go out. So we have to measure them and make sure they're in the right spot. And my sister was so generous to help me through this. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing there. Just getting all those crystals back up. And I purchased all my dits designs from mostly from Neiman Marcus is where you can find a lot of those and I purchased all the crystals from Hobby Lobby and I also purchased that big bow from Hobby Lobby it was plain when I got it and I hot glued all those crystals on it I can never think you can go wrong with crystals I just don't like plain stuff especially at Christmas so I bedazzled that <laughs> And I am, I was planning on using those command strips that I use for Halloween that I hung up there, but I didn't trust them with that. I knew they weren't going to be able to hold it, so I ended up putting nails up there for that. And I'm just putting some more sticks and things for more of a 3D look up there. And I also just hung some things down from the side to sort of fill in that gap there, and then I just hung some icicles up in the sticks back there my mom had to help me a lot through that area i just could not figure that area out i don't know what the problem was but i also have a mark roberts train that i wanted to put through there so i ended up using a bed wedge to go under that to give it that hill look, and I wanted it to look like it was going down a hill there. So there I'm just covering the sheets with that, I think it's called sheet snow or something like that. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I had to sew those two together to make it long enough to go from side to side there. And I got those twinkling trees from Walmart this year. Those were only $30 each there. Just moving that stuff around to see where I ended up liking it the most. And I love those from outside. They look so pretty from the street. Just trying to figure out what works where. And now we started to try to figure out the train in the center there. And then I also added some pieces into that area.
And you're also getting a sneak peek of my Christmas tree in the corner there. There I'm putting that bed wedge under there to give the train more of a hill to go down. And I just safety pinned that garland around the border of the snow just to give it a defined line. I added that little ditz bear on the tree on the corner there. I switched that little Santa out for a different one. I just didn't like that one there. So now we're doing over by my bathroom. I did the same kind of look, just a smaller version. I just put that Santa up on my, oh, that's our cleaning lady and her friend. Um, she wanted to see what I was doing. Um, so I just put him up on my nightstand. I am using for right there and I'm just covering it with the same white snow I used over in my bay window. And then I pick those snowflakes up at Hobby Lo I mean at Home Depot. I just thought they would work perfect there and they gave it a good background. I purchased three of those to go there. And then I wanted to hide the cords because I didn't want you to be able to see the cords running up the wall. So I ended up just duct taping the cords behind the snowflakes so you wouldn't really see them going up the wall. When you're also getting a sneak peek of my gold garland around my desk. <laughs> so that is another one of those trees from Walmart. That is the four foot one. It was only $25. And I have so much stuff I try to fit into my room that that tree did not actually end up staying in the front there. I liked it, but I just, I just ended up not leaving it like that. And then I am adding some more just white branches into the Dit Santa's tree just to tie in more of the snow icy look. And then I added that disco ball looking thing up at, the, I have a hook up there that I leave you around for different things. And I just hung that on it and put some curly things hanging from it and some crystals and I set a flower on top of it. So I was going to put that little dead Santa behind that tree, but I just didn't like it behind the tree. I just felt like it hit him too much. I don't prefer to see the Santa more than the tree. So I ended up moving that. And what I used for the Santa to sit on there in the front is just a trash can I turned upside down. And I just covered it the same way I did, it, did everything else. And then I am just putting this Santa picture I got at Hobby Lobby this year. I just love the snow and the trees in the background. I just thought it was so pretty. And then I ended up putting this little swag thing above it. That actually ended up falling on me while I was sleeping that night because <laughs> I put it up with a command strip and I needed a nail. But anyway, so now we've moved on to my tree. I've added so many lights to that tree and I also added in the vintage bubble lights. I love those so much. I just think they add to the tree. So I'm just running those around it. And then I also added some other lights, the same lights I was using under the snow blankets I put in the tree along with the lights it came with. And then I'm just adding some, they look like little firework things to me into the tree. I just think they look pretty and they just add more light to the tree. And then I'm just adding my Mackenzie Child's garland through the tree. I've used that a couple of years now. I just love that ribbon. I've always liked more of the red and green sort of Christmas. And then I got those round top collection snowflakes. I just thought they worked perfect with my theme this year because my tree, I always do more of a candy look and then the snowflakes went perfect with the rest of the room I was trying to do. So I just had to have those. 
and the Santa and the Reindeer are also round top collection and the little Joy ornament at the bottom. And then I just put my Catherine's collection Santa up at the top. And then I just put some picks around him just to sort of spruce it up a little bit. And just throughout the tree, I added some picks that are mostly from Hobby Lobby. The round top collection um, things I have are from a shop where I live around called Rhinestone Angel. And now I'm just adding some Mark Roberts hot air balloons. I just thought they would look pretty sort of hanging down around the tree. The Nutcracker back there is also round top collection. That guy kept spinning in circles, so I just had to position him in the right direction. So now we've moved on to my dresser. I stack books under my decorative pieces there to give them some different heights. And I was just, before I put the snow down or anything, I just sort of want to get them positioned right. So I took, moved them around between that shelf and my dresser to see which ones would work best in the places. Oh, and you're also getting a sneak peek of that gold garland. So then I took all the Santas off and I just put some lights under it and did the same thing as I did in the bay window and by the bathroom. And then I just put the Santas back up and then I ended up taping that snow edge down because I just didn't like how you could see the lights and stuff. I just thought it looked better when it was being held down and you didn't see any of the stuff under it. It gave it more of an edge to it, like it was more of a hill. So now we've moved on to above my desk. I have this gold garland that I wanted to hang up across the top there and down the side. I got this idea actually from front gate. I saw a garland they did I really liked and got inspiration from that to do this. So I just hung that up and sort of fluffed it up and then I had these white flower sort of leaf looking things with gold on it. And I just added the Mark Roberts fairies to it. And I ran a gold garland from each one to make it look like they were decorating it. And I was just adding some ornaments. And I got those little disco ball looking things at Hobby Lobby this year. I put one up on the top and one over on the bottom on the ground. And I was just adding picks and icicles and crystals and pearls. Um, and now I'm adjusting the Santas up in the shelf. I ended up taking that one shelf out because it wasn't working with what I was trying to do. And I don't like to put the Santas with the big coats on up there because the shelves are so narrow. It sort of flattens them out and I like them more um, fluffed looking. So I was just moving those around. And this room transformation took me six days to do. So if you see me in different clothes, that's why. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just adding the fairies and elves around the Santas just to bring it more to life. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of Mark Roberts. And there I'm adding some Mark Roberts 
nutcrackers on my desk there. And then I got that snowflake from Hobby Lobby. It was white and I just spray painted it silver and my dad cut a hole in the center of it so that it would fit through my light. And then I just hot glued those crystals to it. I originally had it up with Velcro commands, but that was a mistake because it kept falling and I, every time it would fall, the crystals would fall off of it. And then I would have to hot glue everything all back on. It was such a pain. But anyway, we ended up just putting some little tacks through it because I was like, I cannot have this falling all the time. It's so annoying. <laughs> and then I'm just adding some more iridescent snowflakes I have. I also found those at Rhinestone Angel. I talk about rhinestone angel more later in the video and then I also added some pearls up on the ceiling from the snowflake coming down so you can see it was falling there and I was just trying to hold it up but it just was not working It stayed up one night, and then the next day it fell twice. <laughs> so there I am putting up my large Mark Roberts fairy. I did put a hook in the ceiling for him because he's just too heavy, and I am not going to trust a command strip with that. Um, so then I am also just putting more fairies and elves around my Mackenzie Child's wreath. You can never go wrong, really, with how you position and place Mark Roberts, fairies, and elves. I think no matter what you do, they're going to look good. And then I also added one in my light because I wanted it to look like the big fairy was helping him put the crystals and things up in my light. And then I just put a command hook up on my ceiling to give it more dimension. And I ended up putting some of those curly things up on the command strip because I just didn't like how it looked when it was plain with nothing. I just thought it dressed it up a bit more by adding those to it. And I also ended up hot gluing some other pieces up there on it. I just glued them on the command hook, not on my actual ceiling. <laughs> And then I actually had to add two more fairies to the light because that one was making my light crooked. So I had to balance it out. And then I just put another snowflake in his hand and there I'm adding my other fairies up there. So here we have my gold garland and it was just a plain gold garland when I put it up. And I added all the um, crystals, the ornaments, everything. And most of it's from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, really any craft store you can get stuff similar to this. And I added the Mark Roberts fairies to make it look like they were adding in pieces. And then down here we have the gold and silver Mark Roberts Santa that I just think matched this little setting perfectly. And I put him down on this white pedestal I have. I did have a different plan for that. I'll tell you all a little bit later about that, but it did not work, so that's where it ended up going. And then on my desk here, I just have the plain gold garland, along with the Santa picture I got from Hobby Lobby, the Mark Roberts nutcrackers, all my Santas and fairies with Mark Roberts up in here. This was actually my first Mark Roberts Santa up here in the corner. Um, and I have the Mackenzie Child's background like I did for Halloween. I just leave that up year round. Um, so yeah. Um, 
So this is the final product of my dresser. I have the two guys on the ends spinning. I just think that really draws your eye to it. Um, this guy right here, I just think is so different because you don't really see Santa with coal a whole lot. So that really drew my eye to him. And this guy on the end here has a story to him. I actually met Mark Roberts, the designer, and he signed this one. So this one is very special to me. And I have several that he has signed. So, and then as we go up here, I have fairies and elves and my Mackenzie Child's wreath above my bed. As we go this way, I have my big fairy and my little fairy here sort of decorating my light. And I did a snowflake up on the ceiling and then I just hot glued all those um, crystals on there. And this sort of looks like they're decorating it and he's bringing him all the decorations to help him do that. So here on the end of my bed, I just have these large nutcrackers that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then in the center here, I just have my little Mark Roberts nutcracker with some huge points set of flowers. And I just added some ornaments and lights along with this Merry Christmas metal sign from Hobby Lobby. So at the top here of my bay window, I just have my Mackenzie Child's garland going across the top with my big bow in the center along with some other Mark Robert pieces up there and over here on the side. And then I've just added some snowflakes here on both sides just for a little 3D dimension. And then my curtain here that just creates an icy snow look. And then down here on the snow hill is all my Ditz designs except for the Mark Roberts train in the center. Um, I get all my Ditz um, from Neiman Marcus. The guy in the blue is my favorite. Um, I love the color blue, so when I saw him, I just had to have him. <laughs> and um, the sparkly trees are actually from Walmart this year, so if you're interested in those, they're at Walmart. And then I've just sprinkled snow on it to give it more of a snowy look. And then just added this garland to separate it from the floor and give it that dimension. So here we have my tree. I have all kinds of stuff in it. I have my Mackenzie Child's ribbon, Christopher Radko, my Neiman Marcus ornaments, um, pearls, stuff from Hobby Lobby. I have my Catherine's collection, Santa at the top. Um, all these metal pieces, the snowflakes, the Santa, the joy sign are all from rhinestone angel so if you're in the austin texas area definitely look them up and check them out and also the nutcracker back here is from rhinestone angel and they are round top collection and then i also have my mark roberts along the bottom of the tree here with my mckenzie child's tree skirts um just have him up on a ladder just them sort of laying around under there and then up at the top here, I just have these candies hanging down from the ceiling um, that I also purchased from Rhinestone Angel. And then over here, we just have my Mark Roberts hot air balloons. Yes, I did have to put hooks on the ceiling. Sorry, mom, for that, but, <laughs> but yes, that's my tree in the corner here. So here on the other side of my bed, we have another Dit Santa here that I have just recreated a smaller version of what I did in my bay window. Um, and then we also have this other little dip Santa I actually purchased this year from Neiman Marcus. He's the, got candy all on him. And then also another one of those trees from Walmart. And then I just did the snowflakes on the wall to sort of give it a background. And then I just added these sort of stick glittery things to sort of add to the snowy sort of look with some crystals and then up at the top I just did a disco ball with the crystals hanging down just to give it that snow ice sort of look. So here in my bathroom I have to keep it more practical because I'm in here using this space a lot so unlike my room it's more simple. So here on my vanity, I just have my Mackenzie Child's tree I purchased from Neiman Marcus last year. 
people think it's weird looking, but I like it. And then here I just have my Christopher Radko snow globe on top of my Mackenzie Child star plate. And I just put it on there just to give it more of a base to it and just more decoration there. And then here I just have my Mackenzie Child's towels with my Santa towel there and just Santa picture here. And then on the back wall of my bathroom, I just have this Santa picture. And I actually got this from Kirkland's several years ago. And I only paid $5 for it because I got it after Christmas one year. And I had a coupon on top of that. So I was very excited about that. And then here on the floor, I just have the Mackenzie Child's floor mat. Just to sort of decorate on the floor a bit. This is the completed look for here in my bedroom. The Christmas Winter Wonderland. If you're interested in what I do in the rest of the house, please stay tuned because I will be uploading videos of that. Please like and share this video with your friends and family and make sure you subscribe. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.